Welcome back everyone, iOS 14.8.1 just officially came out today, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 7 Plus and see if you should install it. Spoiler alert, you should probably install it if I'm being honest. Now for this specific update, it didn't really bring a crazy amount to the table, but one thing it did bring is security fixes and improvements. Now this update was a decent sized one, you know 157.3 megabytes coming from the previous version of iOS. But a big thing to keep in mind is that iOS 15.1 just came out yesterday. So the fact that Apple is pushing out these security updates is actually pretty impressive. And it goes to show that Apple is, you know, pretty much putting into focus of how many, you know, updates are going to be pushing out. I hope they continue doing this so then we can get a very, very stable version of iOS 14. And that's the name of the game. iOS 14.8.1 is really the most secure, stable version of iOS so far. Now, I don't know about stable. I haven't tested it too much. But just based off what 9to5Mac mentioned from the release log, it looks like they fixed a lot of different bug fixes. I mean, a lot of these fixes are related to audio, color sync, continuity camera, core graphics, GPU drivers, kernel, sidecar, voice control, and WebKit as well. So there have been a lot of bug fixes and improvements. And that is the name of the game. You're not going to be getting enhanced performance. You're not going to be getting, you know, crazy new features. This is literally a security fix update. And even though it's just that of an update, I wouldn't recommend anyone to install iOS 15 and I would recommend everyone to install iOS 14.8.1. This is, like I mentioned, the more stable version of iOS right now. Although 14 isn't even perfect, it is much more perfect than iOS 15. I mean, 15 still has a long way to go. I don't want to take too much out of it. I guarantee you with the next year, 15 will be completely stable. But I would recommend you, if you have an iPhone 7 Plus, especially like these older phones, like these 7 Plus, 6S Plus, 8 Plus, sticking with something like iOS 14 is the better way to go. So in terms of that, that covers it up here. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.